Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. I am Viraja R. And I'm Bruce Jennings. We hope you enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. Our first poem is written by me, Bruce Jennings. It's called In the Corner with the Cane. A long, unused metal cane leans beside an open door, sees it can no longer help her go out, retires, trying to cry, welcoming the rust. In the caning corner, he tipped from hope to dread, from her getting well to his getting sick. Clocks ticks toward their son's weekly visit, where behind the parlor door, they talk of secret mother and son things. He steps away, no longer owning the hours, yet pining for all things father and son. Too late to relive them, he can still imagine eavesdropping on them, at least. The Cons, written by Bill Brown. They are stacked beside the creek on a hidden gravel road. Patience and craft, the artful searching. Seeing, chipping, shaping, mostly limestone, each rock, millions of years forming fossilized, story-filled, itself a calm. The hours spent in rugged contemplation, water bubble, wind in leaves, the forest sway, a present for those who pass as the earth crumbles in time. What human hands have made, I stack words to remember what words alone can't say. The tongue is an eye, a poet wrote. Not just a choking muscle, fumbling with age, the earth a grave of lost words, stones, and children's bones, the cans itself, crude and holy. The gift is in the labor, mother taught. Scraped palms, broken nails, tired backs, the ordered wonder of shape. Giving Up by S.R. Lee. The little harvesters may finish for me now, for I am sated with the gathering, cooking, cutting, repackaging, freezing. The little harvesters have shown their eager energy every morning, nibbling, pecking, crawling into bitten holes, scrambling and flapping away when I come with my two baskets. Two baskets, can you believe my greed? The big pot waits for me each morning. The hard green pears turn soft in half an hour of simmering, then cool in the sink before I slice them, sugar them, slip them into plastic bags. Now my freezer is full while the pear trees still bend with swelling fruit. Sweet, but still hard. Good for squirrels' teeth, blue jays' beaks, tiny ants who crawl into the bitten places, enjoy the white pear flesh. The little harvesters now are welcome to all. I am weary with the gathering, and still they hunger. A speck, written by me, Viraja R. A speck in the circle of life. We, in the ever-expanding 
universe. Seek the beginning or chase the end. Our next poem is one written by me entitled More and Enough. It is easier to see the difference between more and enough when you have more than enough. Our parents taught us the difference between more and enough because they had had both. Our parents said the value of a thing should be based on more than having not on having more. As you approach the boundary of enough, the pull of more gets harder to resist. The difference between longing and contentment is easier to see at dusk with the pressure of regret in the air. It's easier to see that only having more is never enough when the horizon hides behind the dark. Possibilities of Harmony, written by me um, and SR Lee. The possibilities of a harmonious earth, countless as grains of sand, are in the stars of dawn, speedy, inquisitive, eager thoughtlessness, joyful minds of the tender babies. Sing to them ancient songs. Tell them the simple ways of life, the fun of seeking food and sharing what's gathered, the ocean full of life sustaining the land, sunlight, good weather, and nature abound, harvest flowing over the fields, enough to feed the whole world. Only if we learn to share and not just shake hands, but open our hearts and love the neighbor, truly expanding the circle of family, a whole village a city, a country as one, and embrace the world full of differences. Confidence in the attending adults of a child is the highest honor humanity receives. Let's help children learn to read hearts, nature, and books to turn our earth, the Eden, harmonious as God intended. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.